So welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a small kitchen organization. If you are new, my name is Carla and I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys. So I'll be organizing and decluttering any items in this kitchen that it just needs to be done. I haven't done it in a really long time. So I did get some items from Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and share these really quickly. And this is the like a rack, but I'm gonna use this for our pans. And this is for like over the cabinet organizer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it in here, but I'm using this bottle organizer and this container lid organizer. And I honestly don't remember, it's a storage rack, but I don't remember what this was. So we're gonna open that and see what it is. But yeah, this is what I have for organizing. And let me show you what we're starting with. Since I do have them pretty categorized except the coffee mugs, I'm going to pull out every coffee mug and put it on here, but I'm doing kind of like KonMari style where you take everything out, but it's modified. So modified KonMari style, I'll be taking like all of those cups down and like all of the coffee cups down. I just reorganized my kitchen towels, so I may do some like get the Easter ones out of this little area because that's where I typically like grab and go. I do need to get my Easter ones up here and get like all of the summer ones down below. So yeah, that's pretty much it in this one. But like I have coffee mugs in here as well. And then I have coffee mugs up there. But those are staying because those are my Valentine's and Christmas mugs. So now all of my Easter mugs will go up there too. That lid organizer I'm hoping will be really good because these are always a mess. And then that little organizer thing, hoping it'll be good for some of these items because it's a mess. So I think I'm going to start with the coffee mugs first. So I'll get those down and these down and go from there. So 
So this is like our little candy stash, <laughs> as you see, and it's kind of overflowing, so I need to do something about that. And then this is like our medicine little cabinet, so I will be maybe putting this in a little container. I gotta go upstairs and look for a container in my stash. But these are all the cups, you guys. Like, I obviously do not need this many. <laughs> This is gonna be hard because I've tried like decluttering these cups and some of them are like memory. But obviously like I can't use these all at the same time. So I need to really ask myself if I'm going to be using it. All right, here are the cups that I'm keeping for like pretty much all year round. These are my two travel ones. And then some of these just really have sentimental value. Actually, most of them do. Our Hawaii cup, the Bahamas. My mom got that for me for Mexico. And I just love this from the dollar store. My husband got that for me for my birthday. And then my mother-in-law got this for me and then she got me this one as well. So, yeah, and then this is just like my Coast Guard one. And then I'm getting rid of these so far. And now we're going to tackle these cups right here in the middle. So I realize this video is pretty jam-packed and so I just want to say thank you for being here if this is your first time here. My name is Carla and a welcome and if you're not welcome back. Thank you guys so much for being here and I would love if you guys subscribed especially if this is your second or third time coming back to watch my videos. I would love if you subscribed and I hope you're enjoying all of this motivation for small kitchen organization ideas, tricks and tips to give you as well when you're organizing your kitchen. So quickly wanted to add in that you will notice a trend. I am taking everything out, wiping everything down the cabinets because they are gross and decluttering cabinet by cabinet and then just organizing it with a better system. God, I suck at putting it together. Like, I can barely put this together. And it doesn't require tools. I had these the wrong way. So don't do that. Yay, I finally did it. Holy cow, that took forever. And before we go further into this video, I wanted to introduce you guys, Kelly. Her channel name is Kelly Schumann and she does tons of cleaning and organizing on her channel. Super motivating. She's got some really great upbeat music and just really motivational on her channel. I will make sure to leave her video down below in the description and a comment pinned as well. And I hope you guys check out her channel, show her some love, let her know that I sent you over. I know she'll be super grateful. She is so kind and so supportive to me all the time. So I'm really excited to be collaborating with her on today's video. I hope you guys head on over to her channel and subscribe and show her some love in the comments and you will for sure get tons of motivation from her channel. Right, and onto like the you know 
food storage little area. I do have that lid organizer and I just need to organize those items. They're like for fruit and whatnot. And I think I can get rid of some of those items up there. There's some hidden stuff back here that I totally forgot about. All right, you guys, so even though it's a cabinet and it's closed off, they still become dirty. So this is why I totally recommend when you're organizing or decluttering a space, you wanna like clean that off and it's like grime. So I'm using the Mr. Clean Freak. And towards the end of the video, I will be sharing everything, how it came out, because I, I do end up changing some things around. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I give you like the whole preview of the before and after as well, which are super satisfying. Y'all just love when I do that. So make sure to stay tuned throughout this video. Like I said, it's pretty jam packed. So I hope y'all stay tuned for that. more and I don't think I need them. Look at these stains, you guys. So crazy.
like you guys have seen me do I'm moving shelves that way they fit all the things that I want to fit because I am a shorty well actually I think these are really tall and underneath these were disgusting so gross All right, I think this is my favorite cabinet so far. I got rid of some and then I'm actually gonna put these cause the boys use these like all day, every day for cereal, snacks, I mean for everything. So I think I'm gonna put it like right here so it's super easy for them instead of having to climb up here cause they do have to climb up here. Tackle these drawers right here. And then I did do this one as well and then these two so if you missed that video i will link it but as you see it's working the organization i did in here has been working perfectly so i'll make sure to link that but i am going to toggle these three because i did not get to do these so this one's pretty like <laughs> simple there's not much And this one is like totally randos that we don't use that often at all. So all of this was in that cabinet like so many things 
and I'm going to try to purge whatever I can, but most of it is like once in a while stuff that I still need to keep. So yeah, like most of it that I don't need that many skewers. We don't even like hardly use them. So yeah, like I need, <laughs> like that's a Thanksgiving pan for turkey like baking stuff, pies, brownie, cake. I really don't have multiples of stuff. So I just need to organize this better, but I need a better system. So I will share what I do in here to help me better organize. So I did have to balance these out because these are super heavy. These are the Pampered Chef. So this one's like facing this way. And then these are facing that way. But I may have my husband like screw this into like the cabinet. That way it won't be moving around. But I'm going to make sure it's going to stay here. But I tried putting this in there and it worked. So I may get one more set to put right here for like those pans. I really love it. This is the main problem I have with these is like you put them under and then like use a big one most of the time, right? And then you end up putting it just on top of the rest. So that's why I got this and I love it so far. I can't wait to see um, how it works out for our family, but I think I'm really gonna tell my husband to nail this into the wall um, like really good secure it because these are like really sturdy So yeah, totally recommend so far. <laughs> so this cabinet is actually really not that bad We just have what we need in here, but like I'm gonna get rid of those and put them in Here so that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to wipe it down as well It's really hard to tell on camera, but it is looking dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now So these are all the items I'm getting rid of. Like this is melted on the side, so I'm gonna toss this and this. Everything else is okay. I think I'm gonna toss these, they're pretty bad. And I think everything else is good. Oh, this pan is just not good. So we're gonna toss that. But I think this will be useful to someone else. Oh, actually I'm keep, oh this is, I was like, this is not given away. <laughs> it's being used. I'm gonna go ahead and bag it so I can go to donation center. Actually, I need to toss this because it leaks and that's why I got a new one. It does not, it still cooks it, but like you have to put a towel underneath. It's just really a hassle. So I'm gonna to toss this as well.
Hey guys, so it is the next day, but I wanted to show you everything, how it came out because after, you know, organizing it all, I did adjust a couple of things and then like put away the stuff that was in the dishwasher. So now that everything is kind of where it's supposed to be, and like I said, I did move some stuff around, so I'm excited to share that with you and I'll kind of share like why I did what I did and hopefully give you some tips as well to organize your smaller kitchen. All right, so we are right here in this cabinet. I did put like all of my coffee items up there. So that candy is no longer there. And then I did put all of my coffee cups and our medicine right here because um, I do, you know, my anxiety and depression medicine and my husband takes medicine and then like ibuprofen for headaches because we do get headaches quite frequently, it sucks, but it's just always been like that. But this is easy for us to have it right here. And then the towels are all right here and our candy stash is like a little bit harder to get to. <laughs> so that's why I put it over here. That's like a little loose candy, but yeah, this is like our candy stash and like spring summery towels. We have our Easter, Valentine's, fall, Christmas, Halloween. So that's how I have that organized and I really like it. And here's our cups. I'm loving the cup organizer, totally recommend. I really, really like it. And like our smoothie blender, I put that together. And like the kids cups are on this side. And then like our cups are on this side. We did get rid of some cups, so that helped out a little bit. Love this for us. Okay, and then this one, so I have like the gravy thing up there salsa bowl for like entertaining and like that really big tupperware and our fruit tupperware vegetables that one as well our bigger tupperware is right there and then this is the tupperware we use really really often and i'm absolutely loving this little caddy for our lids like it works perfect for us i just really really like it so totally recommend i love having this to kind of give me more storage because it was just all bumbled and jumbled in there like on one level so this really does help keeping some stuff up higher so love it all right and then this one's like the spice cabinet i got this from amazon i'll make sure to leave it linked and i just have like some spices right here and then like chicken and beef bouillon and all of the spices that are like bigger and then these are the spices I use really, really often. So I love how I just have one now instead of two. And I'm using the space because this used to be up top and it was really hard for me to get to. It's still kind of like far. I still need the step stool, but that's okay. I can get to these items really easily that I use often. And then that second one up there is my husband's cups. He's tall, so he can totally get it extra spices right there and that's like our hot chocolate items right there with marshmallows and hot cocoa and then up top is like my seasonal cups so i have christmas and valentine's and easter and then the big coffee thing for my ninja coffee maker all right so on this side of the microwave is all of our like plates and whatnot so up top we have like the plastic ware, extra bowls and plates, just more bowls right here. And then these are just totally random, but we use them. So that's why I kept them. And then we have like Abby's bowls and whatnot. And then the boys, small plates, bigger plates and paper plates. But I really love how this turned out. I love this little Amazon thing that we got. And I really love how I'm able to use so much more space with this and like make it more functional and then in this cabinet i have all of the boys bowls for like snacks and cereal toaster and then here i have aprons and then cookie cutters that's pretty much it and then back here i have my mol molcajete which is for like to make salsas so love that and i'll do a quick overview because i've already shown this in a video but I have like all of our plastic little baggies right here. And then I have our knives, these knives, paper clips, or like bag chip clips right there. And that's pretty much it. 
And then we do have like all of our water bottle lids in here and then like our Tervis lids and lids to any cups pretty much go in here and then our straws are right here. I used to have like the lids on this side but I just needed the straws to be by themselves that way they can stay nice and organized. And then this is just like plastic bags, aluminum foil, wax paper, plastic wrap, that kind of stuff is just in here. And then this is like rarely used items. We have like our ice scoop for when we have company. We have wine and beer openers, which we don't use very often because we don't drink very often. And then this little pie scoop. It's just things that we don't use very often. And then the medicine cups and syringe, knife sharpener, but oh, and then like toothpicks, like little fun toothpicks. I use them more for the summer for like when I'm um, putting them with fruit and whatnot and vegetables. I just like to make it fun for the kids or like with banana and peanut butter. They love that as well. So yeah, the store is like not used very often. Now onto this side by the oven. It's just like our plasticware. I have all of Abby's spoons or silverware and then like the bigger ones. And then these are for like ice pops. I love these. Now I need to get one for Abby for this summer. <laughs> we I had these made, but I think I can make it now because I do have a cricket. And yeah, like Jake has had his for a long time. It's very <laughs> worn, but yeah, so cool to have that. And then right here, I just have our cutting boards. I love having them in one location, so perfect. And then I just have like oven mitts, oven like placeholders, a little kitchen utensil holder, the weight to check like measurements of food, and then our koozies and our alphabet magnetic letters and our butcher block, which, I'm holding on to because I don't know if we'll use it one day. I think we will, but I don't like having stuff on my counter. So, yeah. But I did put our oven mitts right here and I hung them with the little command hooks. And it's just really easy access like grab when you're taking stuff out of the oven right here. So I thought this would be a great idea and I love it. I love it so much, especially when you're like hurrying up to get these out and you're trying to get something out of the oven. And this next cabinet is probably one of my favorite. I'm so excited for this little organizer to hold the pans. I love it so much. And like I mentioned, I think I'm going to have my husband pin it into, or not pin it, but nail it into this cabinet so it doesn't go anywhere. But I love it. I just have like pans, measuring cups, my rolling pin, this big old glassware. And then down here I have like baking sheet, like where they cool off, you know, a mixer, brownie pans. And then these are items that I don't use too often. It's like a cheesecake mixer, a cheesecake holder, but I love how it's much more organized. And this was a part that bugged me the most because it was just a mess. Okay. And like I said, I did do a video on this area as well, but I'm loving how it's still very functional and it works for us. I just have like our bigger utensils and these are like Dollar Tree bins, um, all of our measuring spoons, cups, lighters for candles, can opener. Uh, this is like for a cherry uh, to take out the seeds out of the cherry, ice cream scoop, meat thermometer, and little recipes back here. So yeah, I really love how this is like still very working for us very much. And then down here is just the pots and pans. There's not really much. I just organized it a little bit better. Our lids, like I can't put a lid organizer because it has to be like standing up and this is too short right here. So I can't do that, but it's okay. It still works. All right, and then this last cabinet in the corner, which is by the sink we've made it all the way around so i have that big old green thing back there guys is for tamales for the masa so i use that once a year but i need it <laughs> like it's so big because the masa is a lot of masa and but i use it every single year and then like a cheese grater all of the lids to these bowls and then these little 
egg cooker that I absolutely love. It's the Dash brand. I love it. It's pink. It's perfect. And then strainer and fruit strainer. And that's like a cheese meat cutting little board. And all of our bowls. And then like our ninja. I have like smoothies back there. And some tablecloths. And then I just have some pitchers back there. And then the tamale cooker is in the very corner and then as you see that little little cookie holder <laughs> I don't know what to call it and then just down here under the sink it is the under the sink but I did do a whole video on this I will make sure to remember to link it but I love I still it's very much working for us so you should check out that video so you can see the difference but I just got like new Mrs. Myers lilac scent so that's in here for right now but i'm gonna put it out so it'll be out of the way but everything has pretty much stayed the same in here super functional and i love it so i didn't show this on camera but i did end up cleaning the top of the fridge it was disgusting when you clean the top of your fridge make sure to get like your refrigerator as well like right here it was really gross <laughs> So yeah, I just got everything off of here. So it's just like their Easter candy. And then we have all of Abby's like extra bottles and like bibs and whatnot. So that's what we keep in there. But it's all nice and clean. I just have candles in there. That's all that's in that cabinet. it i hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching i love you guys and subscribe if you're not already make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out kelly's channel thank you guys again and i love y'all bye